this is chilling. What more can I say? Top What's up, everybody? This your boy Bill Bellamy, and welcome to the number one podcast for the movement, the culture, and the discussion. Today, we're going to call this the Philly edition. If you love neo soul music, if you are a fan of authentic authenticity you're gonna love my special guest today mr music soul chow i mean you came in this game and just been killing it Every, i you. mean from the first single boom thank boom you. boom thank boom you. boom no technically it's boom 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 yeah bro listen listen bro i have done shows with you Mm. I have uh, sat on the plane with me. Sat on the plane with you <laughs> and vibe with you, man. You really are a really great person, bro. Ah, oh, thank you, man. And I'm being Same honest. I'm, no, I'm dead ass. Like oh, thank seriously, you. like that. you are a great person, and I'm really grateful that you chose music because uh, no, it chose me. <laughs> music chose you because yeah. it gives you the opportunity to me to express all the different uh, sort of uh, flavors of your personality. Right. Yeah. Actually, I never really looked at it like that. But yeah. And there there are layers. Yes. You know, and uh, the music definitely helped me to sort of wrangle it. Mm -hmm. um, as a creative, I have a lot of interests and it's a lot of things I want to do. You know, a lot of um, ways I want to communicate uh, my creativity through artistry. But music was definitely my uh, strong point. And it made more sense to kind of like lean into that. I mean, I have other, you know, uh, things that I'm interested in, like, you know, fashion and food and, you know, uh, uh, um, athletics to a degree, you know. Right, to a degree, right? Yeah, like. <laughs> you not, ain't dunking like yeah, you not used so, to. <laughs> yeah, not so much, you know, basketball, football, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. It's more so like, you know, MMA, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of like in that boxing kind of like uh, realm a little bit. Um, I'm not that versed on it, but that, that seems to be more of an interest than, than not. I don't even know why I even. Got into it. I, I get a little uh, oversharey sometimes. No, 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 that uh, no, no, that's too. Because yeah. I had Wiz Khalifa in here. Wiz Khalifa oh, is oh, heavy into that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was he, and, yeah, and he, training. Yeah, he took a Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Really and it's, it's and he really, got the he got the form for it too. Yeah, he's, he's lanky, lanky, yeah, yeah, lanky yeah, he and long. That. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Hey, man, um, I, I told you this a long time ago, you know, like my roots in uh, Philly run deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, for all the cats that are listening and watching, you know, Philly is definitely one of those rugged cities. Real cats out there always have had amazing shows in Philly. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, coming up, you know, in the streets of North Philly, it, to say you were into music wasn't one of the things that Philly Cats would be like, yo, he on that music joint. Like, it was, what made you step out on your faith in your talent like that? And I didn't really think about it. Like I said, I, I meant what I said that he chose me. I didn't have a choice. It was just me. Like, I thought that was just life. I thought that was just my identity, you know? And and furthermore, I thought that it was something everybody else did, just at different levels. Okay. And when I got older, I realized, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, everybody can't everybody, sing like me. <laughs> everybody can't, oh. Everybody damn, can't write bad. a song. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because I would be like, "Hey, and you gonna sing this part?" And both folks be like, "I'm not doing that." Like, no, you sing. Like, I don't, I don't sing. We mean you don't sing. You can talk, right? Right. That mean you can sing. So you can one. sing. And it's like, I, I don't understand the concept of some people's ears just work differently. Absolutely. It just, and it's not better or worse, good or bad. It's just different. Everybody ears just work. It's like you know, some people can you know, have the coordination for a basketball. Some people don't. Yeah. It don't make them bad people. It make them dumb or stupid. It's just no, that. It's that's just, just not their just, thing. You, you just know? can't play no goddamn ball. Where <laughs> there is that. There is that. Man, you can't. God, you can't damn, play no can't damn play ball. No damn ball. Yeah. You know, we <laughs> wasn't kind to each other when we was nah, little. Very aggressive. Man, very, you need very to stop aggressive. playing. No, man, you can't play. We got nah, him. Man, nah, man. Nah, we see bro, you last nah, game, nah. my man. Nah, we got him, fam. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, nah. nah so yeah. Uh, you come, you come in this game. Um, I think you came in at a right time because there was like this thing brewing in Philly mm -hmm. called Neo Soul. Yeah. And, um, so here's the thing. I never, I never sort of directly associated with it. I was just adjacent and I knew all, all the folks. Yeah, I mean, you know chill, you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And this, this is not because people want to talk about this. People take it like I'm trying to diss it. I'm not dissing it. I'm just being uh, honest and accurate. Like that's right. not something that I identify with directly. You was just doing your music. I was just doing my music. People just associated it with me because I, everybody, you know, was the homies, you know. So it was like, that's the one in there, too. And it was new to everybody. You know how people get with new stuff. They don't know what it is. So they just, 
They gave it a and, name. And folks want to act like, you know, they experts on it. They're going to try to tell well, I mean, us it, what it is to yeah, us. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's still, you know, very much R&B music. But what I liked about it giving it a label of Neo Soul. Right, it gave it its own identity and it set it apart. And I respect that, you know. Yeah. But I think it's also important for people to be able to identify with what exactly is going on. Like for me, for instance, okay. I've always identified with Hip Hop Soul. I've always identified with hip hop soul, but I think it is lost in translation when you're viewing it or consuming it from the lens of R and B or neo soul because now you're looking for something that was never there. So you're basing and rating my, you know, my offerings according to what you're looking for that I was never intending to give you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of threw people off a lot of the times. So for instance, yes, I make R and B music. Yes, I make neo soul music, but I don't consider myself a neo soul artist or R and B artist. So people will hear the songs on the radio and they'll get the albums or whatever. It's cool. But then when they come to my show and I'm turning up, they're like, yo, <laughs> what you on, bro? And it's like, dude, like <laughs> we going to get to, we going to get to that one. But, the thing but is, I got a lot of energy. Though, bro, you exactly. Hip-hop. So when I give them that, they're like, is we at a root show? No, this, man, you show. are hip hop. Yeah. Music. But, but people, you know, they fail to identify with that. They fail to con- be considerate of that. And that's why I kind of get a little, I, I wince a little bit when people label me Neo Soul or R&B. It's not that I don't accept it. It's just that I feel like by you leading with identifying me as that, mm. you're telling me that, Maybe not intentionally, but you're telling me that you're not being considerate of the fact that I, whole, I got a whole other side. Bro, listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so, the best, the best way to describe you, because I've seen your shows, mm-hmm. is Hip Hop Soul. Yeah. And, um, and the thing that's so cool about it, like, you could literally spit bars. If my bars were a little tighter, I'm working on it. No, but what All my I'm rap saying, friends like, is like, 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 bro, come on. Like, come on. You're like one step away. You're you, you right there. Yeah. I seen it. Yeah, yeah. I seen it when we was in Punta Cana. I said, is he about to... <laughs> <laughs> and you and then you I just got too much respect for, for rap no, legacy no but if you know it fit saying? and it worked yeah, it works. I, 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 but I gotta honor it by like actually like pushing my pen and working on it there you, you know? go so um, when you're doing this hip hop soul thing mm-hmm. and you're creating these songs you write right. how are you able to cause one of one of, one of my favorite songs which was actually uh, in my wedding and I, I, mm-hmm. I dedicated to my wife was mm-hmm. love, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the, one of the, I'm gonna use that as an example. That song to me, I always wanted to give you your flowers for that song because that song kind of perfectly relates to being afraid of love uh, in your life and when it comes to you not being afraid to accept it. Well, where the song actually came from, and mm-hmm. I, and I appreciate that sentiment, and I and. Uh, I'm grateful that that was your takeaway, you know, because everybody is going to have a different takeaway. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Just, that's just life. That's just music. Yeah, that's, yeah. Just, that's just music and that's just life. And people have, have their own experiences that they associate what they're, what they're consuming, you know, towards. But what it originally came from was I was having a, a very challenging time understanding what the, this concept of love, you know, this, mm. this thing people are calling love. Right. I had a very challenging time understanding what it really was, you know. And, you know, I had a pretty interesting you know, and, and challenging upbringing, you know, and I, I dealt with a lot of very traumatic things and, you know, a, a lot of which from people that were very close to me, you know, which is the only reason why it, it would have been able to affect me the way right, that it did. Because people you love right. is the one that hurt you the most. Right, you know, and I went through a lot of processing processes with that, you know, I went through, you know, um, there's a lot of, you know, what, 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 what would be associated with mental health issues right. concerning that, um, that I didn't understand at the time because wasn't, that wasn't an accepted you know, topic of conversation, you know, right. when I was coming up. So there was, we didn't have the vernacular, we had a vocabulary, we didn't have the words to really like articulate exactly what we were feeling and uh, uh, the spaces that we were in and how to communicate how specifically we're having a, you know, hard time dealing with stuff and blah, blah, blah. So now that, you know, that is, you know, part of the, you know, the global conversation now. Yeah. A lot of it is a lot of, you know, it's a lot of finesse but it was and a, a tough lot, a lot time. of cap. But, so you're saying but, originally but, it was a tough, the song that when you wrote it. Right. It was a tougher. Right. That time. that now, if I would have, if I would, if, if I would have written, I probably would have chosen uh, more direct language. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Which is why I, I'm, I'm roping in the, the, the fact that it's the topic of discussion because then I would have had the more uh, words at my disposal to use you know, um, than I did at the time. But it's a loosely based conceptual conversation with love. So it basically was, so basically it would be like 
music, the artist talking to love and yeah. having a conversation. Yeah, like yeah, how we're talking right yeah, now. And, so and then the idea is like, okay, if that's, that's going to be the conversation and that's who you're going to be talking to, like, what would you say? And that's why it starts off with love. There's so many things I got to tell you. Right. You know it's so fly. Yeah. I never thought of it. You know, yeah. obviously I didn't, I didn't uh, really, you know, interpret it that way. Yeah. I, uh, I interpreted it as like, Yo, love is here, and I'm like ready to be. Well, able it is. Well, it kind of almost, almost got I almost that way. Got it. <laughs> how, how I, it like to, when it gets to like like the bridge part. Uh huh. I'm, 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 I'm. You could say I'm expressing a, 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 a sense of acceptance. Mm -hmm. Then you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. When I say now that I found love, uh, you know what I'm saying. I, at first, because at first you didn't mean that much to me, but now I know. Now you're all I see. Uh, I sing the song every night. Yeah. <laughs> At first, you didn't mean that much to me. Now I know that's you all I need. You're all I need, yeah. Uh, uh, the world looks so brand new to me now that I've found love. Every, everything I, 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 I do yeah. is for you. I do this for you. Yeah. Um, you know I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> now, if you put me on stage, I'll oh, pff, it'll come out. But sitting here no and like, oh, what did I say? But um, the point was, despite all the challenges, mm -hmm. I'm always still going to choose love. Absolutely. That's that was the whole point. I know and there's been a lot of them, and it, and I get why a lot of people sometimes they they decide not to choose love. Some people just decide to it's choose so violence because it, 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 it because gets a lot, and you get it into requires this, a lot. Yeah, and you, you get into the self preservation mode, or at least sometimes a distorted version of it. You know what I'm saying? And you start getting, you start projecting out, and you start. You know, this, I'm going to get you before you get me kind of concept, you know. Absolutely. You start getting real petty, you know what I'm saying? You start getting real, you like you start to become the villain, you know, because you're tired of being the victim. So you try to you, you try to catch people before they catch you, but yeah. that's not healthy. No, it ain't. You know, so, you know, it's, it's a lot of ways that people process it and a lot of people, a lot of ways that people internalize it and deal with it and navigate through that. But I always want to, throughout my music, I always want to give people, you know, potentially better options. Cause I have time to sit, I got time to sit down and think about it. Like, okay, if I if I reference my life, I probably didn't make the best decision under these circumstances. But if I did have the time and if I did have the game, I you know I would have you know I would have chosen to do it this way, you know. Then so maybe now by me knowing, I could like help another person and be like, cool, fam, don't choose what I chose, choose this. Yeah, and you know, hey, bro, way. shut up, don't don't cuss her out. Like, sit, think, you know, say these words. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know. This is um, was something um, that I noticed that you said on stage, and I've been waiting to ask you. Oh, okay. And um, it was it was very very personal um, when you were on stage, and you said you went and you kind of alluded to it earlier. You were um, going through a, a, a crisis. Um, uh, you you went through a, a, a mental health crisis for a while, and people didn't really know what was going on, mm -hmm. and you had to chill out, mm -hmm. get it together, I had to sit down somewhere. I go sit sit down somewhere, sit down somewhere, yeah. and come back. And I, I want wanted to talk about mental health because especially as um, black men um, and in this time of so many things that I've been seeing from mental health issues, we don't talk enough to each other. Nah, we yeah. never, we never, we, we find it uncomfortable to say I need help. Yeah, you know, especially, so like me, I did a lot of my time in life dolo because I didn't really have a lot of support, you know, I didn't have a lot of nurturing I didn't have a lot of guidance, you know. Yeah, I had people in my life that was telling me stuff, but I didn't agree with it because it was dumb. I didn't get it. Like, right. and there was no breakdown process of why. You know, it was, you know, it's like do it or else. And it's like, it's I'm the just kind of like person. This, I'm the kind so. of person like, oh word. No, I, that that's that that's you. I'm right. not doing that. Right. Exactly. I'm gonna go, I'm 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 gonna go right, because what you're talking about is left. I'm not doing that. Cause that makes no sense to me. You're not trying to break it down to me. Help me understand why. Like I was a very rebellious kid. You're not just gonna tell me what to do. Right. But tell me why. I'll I'll go even further. Right. I'll listen if you can tell me why. Yeah. Make it make and, sense. And and I and I will probably I will more than probably I will more than likely pick up on more game than what you're even offering because I'm a pretty observant individual and 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 I like to flesh out things. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't tough. like not understanding stuff. Right. So that's why I had a problem. People people took it as you, know, especially like you know all the old heads took it as I was being, you know, I was being uh, disrespectful. It was like, no, I'm not being disrespectful. You disrespectful for assuming that I know something that you can't guarantee whether I was ever taught that. Correct. But you expecting me to perform like I'm one of your peers. I know I come across that way because I'm you know I'm high functioning, mm -hmm. but I'm still a child, bro. Right. Like, yeah. break it down to me. Make it make sense. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not listening to you because you don't care about me. <laughs> exactly. You just want me to do what you want me to do so you can feel like, ah, you know what I'm saying? I made that kid do blah, blah, blah. Man, fuck out of here. Right. Who you talking to? 
Yeah. But you a kid, you can't talk like that because you look like, you know. But but that's but that's a beautiful thing that you were able to stand up for yourself. Yeah, and, but you know, but it, it was tough. But yeah, because you know, <laughs> not people like to rock with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's you not end the up being lonely, choice. right? You you it's a lot of days you, know you be by yourself. You when a you, lot, a lot, lot of a days, lot, a lot, and then people advocate for people not messing with you. Mm. Like, don't be like him. Blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I had a you know really hard time with bullies because they ain't like that. I ain't bow down. They ain't like that shit. I'm like, I'm not gonna bow down to you, right? You know, we either going to box or you're going to leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Right. You might win. I might, you know, I might take an L. You might catch an L. Hey, you yes. know what I'm saying? But I'm not just going to do what you want me to do. I don't operate like that. I didn't come that way. That's not how it was made. So when we think about you getting through a <laughs> tough time and um, still being able to create such beautiful music, like, how, how were you able to? Because I needed, I needed the difference. Okay. It was so much darkness and pain and all that crap. Like, I needed the difference. So it was because it wasn't happening, then I was like, well, let me make it. Nice. You know? And it actually was ill, I learned when I got older. It actually fueled it because it gave it character. It gave it personality. So it I was the texture under the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, well, I wasn't just doing That's what everybody else was. I was just doing my version of what everybody else was doing. It's like, no, I got to get this out. And this is, this is what I was blessed with. To get it out, and it's gonna come out as it does. I'm not gonna try to fit inside of what everybody is because I don't fit. No, man, you in your own lane, and um, as a music lover, and especially, I mean, I'm a, I'm hip hop. I I'm a fan. I've emerged in the culture, mm -hmm. you know, for 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. And I know music, bro. Yeah. Like when I first heard you, the first thing I thought of was. The coolest new Donny Hathaway. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, I like, because that. Donny Hathaway to me was was one of the coolest cats to sit at a piano. Mm -hmm. One of the church. He was a church cat. Mm -hmm. He was so full as hell, yeah. and he wrote very intimate, emotional songs because he was intentional. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's one of the things that I learned. Like I always cite three major uh, personalities, artists. As my biggest influence, and that's Donny Hathaway, Gotta be. Uh, Marvin Gaye, Oof. and Stevie Wonder. Oh, you good? And oh, I learned <laughs> so many because I didn't go to school for you know for music, you know. Um, excuse me. So I had to learn it indirectly. Thankfully, excuse me, I had a uh, you know I, uh, an incentivized, inspired interest in it, you know. So it kind of helped facilitate my education in it. I didn't need an instructor to tell me blah blah blah. I was able to peep game like oh bet you know, and I had time to sort of like work on it and figure it out and see what works, see what doesn't work or whatever. And what I learned from Donnie was, you know, you ain't got, cause I was, I was real heavy into Stevie. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do all the vocal acrobats, see how many notes I could fit in a bar. Stevie you know what I'm saying? Tough, he was so, he, cause he's so explosive and spontaneous. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he's, he's MJ. It's like, you don't know oh, what he gonna do. Stevie Wonder you don't know bananas. what he gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And everything he does was so like, wow, you know? And, but with Donnie, what I learned was, Sometimes less is best. Mm. Like he would just do one note and you will feel oh my God. that whole note, bro. You know? <laughs> and I was like, make... how he do that? I don't know, man. I know exactly what but, you're talking but that's, about. But that's soul music. Yeah, you, soul get, music. you can't just sing with your voice. You got to sing with your entire being. And that's the thing that connects to people. Absolutely. It's not the musical arrangement. The musical arrangement is just... That's just the serving vehicle. That's just the catalyst. Okay. It's the it's the energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when you when you set up notes and set up arrangement a certain way and you perform it a certain way, and what, what just like how you describe, you're so soulful. Man. That's what that is. And that's that thing you can't deny because it's it, it hits you on a cellular level. Every human Bro, being every time. And that is just that is just an expression of that. That's why, in my opinion, an observation in, in education, that's why I believe it's called soul music, because you are literally emoting your entire being into that song. through music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, okay, and, and everybody can't. That. You can't That's deny dope. that. I never thought of it like you that. You can't deny. It's That's why hit song you. is timeless. It's gonna hit you, and it's gonna be forever. You know, so <sighs> that's what I learned from Donnie. So I, if I just figure if I could get just a little piece of that, you know, what I'm you saying? got and, it, and incorporate oh, that in you. into what I do, <laughs> you know, and oh, with man. that, and then with the Stevie, with the whole, you know, you know, uh, really electrifying, you know, uh, extremely inspiring, you know. Uh, uh, 
you know, it's, it's almost like vocal athleticism. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have the stamina. What about you know? what, what? What did well, you Marvin? What you, what, I learned Marvin. finesse, ah, bro. I learned finesse. finesse. You gotta have that finesse. You gotta have that sophistication. For all you youngins out there, you gotta go, have that. You better go. You better go check bro. check Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah. Marvin Gaye. Oh my God. God, legendary finesse game. That's oh the my. best way to describe. Yeah, him. he. It's, 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 it's to the point where he wasn't even really singing. No, he was just having melodic conversations. <laughs> like <laughs> the dude was talking, <laughs> really, <laughs> low key. He was really oh talking to you, God. bro. Have you ever heard? See, people like people know what's going on. Yeah, but every I don't think everybody put put enough emphasis on what's happening. Yeah, yeah, what's happening? When good. they go, hey baby, what you no good? I'm just getting back, but you knew I would. Boys, <laughs> hell, when will it end? When will people start getting back? Like he's really having a. Are things getting better? Like the newspaper said, he's talking he's to you, bro. Talking to you. Oh my God, it was so ill. I'm like, yo, is anybody catching this? <laughs> no, but you got to see, you got the ear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because um. Trouble man hit me like that. Oh, I work hard, baby. Oh, the rules. Boom, boom. Bro. Bro. He just talking. I never thought of it as a conversation. Yeah, he's having a melodic conversation. He ain't pushing the voice. Nah, he ain't doing that. He's just talking, dude. And he would like, said, and he would, he would have, damn. and he would have like so, so like, like really deep and layered subject matter, like flying damn. high. Like you would never know that's a song about about managing addiction. You would never know. Fly, never, I flying never. high in a friendly sky. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And don't get hey, me started on church. Here My Dear, bro. Oh. The whole album. Oh. Man, why you over here the trying to... The whole album, look, bro. Look, bro. Look, bro. You ain't here trying to educate somebody. I'm just saying, like, this is get what... Get your this weight is, up out here if y'all don't is, know what y'all talking about your this music. this is the references that I have. That's you know you, what I'm that's saying? That's why you music soul child, So, bro. And I'm trying to honor these things, but people just want you to, like... Do the same thing that you did last time. Like, bro, Come like, on, I did that already. Yeah. I'm off that. Like, let me do something else. Yeah, yeah. Because just because, and, 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 and let's just, so just like you like that and you didn't know to even ask for that, the thing that you want me to do again, let me do me and give you something else that you didn't know that you, you might like. You might but love. I think, but I think you might love. Mm -hmm. huh, no pun intended. <laughs> or maybe pun intended. <laughs> you slick like that. <laughs> Comedians, man, they like to bring it around. <laughs> we, 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 y'all yeah. quick, y'all quick, 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 quick. But you know, um, yes, I just want people to kind of like give it a chance because you have no idea, you know, what I have to offer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be able to flesh out as many things as possible. You know, uh, I, I'm not saying that you know I'm the end all be all and I'm the greatest thing ever, but I'm always looking for new stuff. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to evolve. Yeah, you know. What I'm I saying? like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. And this is this is the beauty of you being a artist and a creative and authentic. You're not going to allow uh, uh, the record industry or whoever to make you boxed in. I did for a minute. You for probably, a minute I did because I thought that was safe. I thought that was the way. Mm -hmm. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to honor the blessing that I because you know I was dolo. I was on the streets and you know and I was blessed with an opportunity. I'm not going to be disrespectful and be like, nah. So what we going to do is we going to do it my way. Like, bro, you just got here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> listen to the OGs or at the very least listen to the person cutting the check. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you might learn something. You know, and and I love to learn. You know, so I, I did a whole run. Then my whole timeline essentially. You know what I'm saying? At least a bit better part of it, which is basically my learning curve. I ain't know nothing about the industry. I ain't know nothing about really life, you know, cuz young guy coming up in the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just came from a I just came, I just came from a bad way, but that wasn't a reflection of real life. That was just my circumstances at the time. Mm -hmm. So because I had this opportunity, a lot of things were opening up to me and I was having all these new experiences and I didn't have a way to process it, you know what I'm saying, effectively and efficiently, I was stuck for a very long time. So I was like, okay, well, I do know how to survive. I do know how to push through. I know I do know how to keep it moving. I don't always need to know what to do. I, I, I have enough confidence in myself that I'm going to figure it out when I get there. It's not nice. necessarily the most ideal way to operate because you do want to have a plan and know how to move so that you can move with intention. But sometimes you're not going to have all the, all the intel. So I'm not, you're not going to have all the game. You're not going to know what to do. But I was really good at figuring things out. So for the time which is what i'm referring to i allowed it because i didn't have a better plan and what was happening was already something that was in play and it was tried and true because it worked for everybody else it just wasn't something that i wanted to do so until i had a better idea i was like bro just 
Just ride the wave. It's working for you. People love it. You're inspiring people. You're ultimately doing what you really want to do right. anyway. It's just not in the way that you would prefer, but you don't really know what that is yet. So just give it a minute. You're right. And so do you think now um, as we, we you know, we're approaching a new album, a new yeah, album, yeah, yeah. a new so way. So here's what's dope. I ain't never <laughs> tell nobody. Because you know, I've been telling people, you know, I'm working on new music. Yeah. You know, I'm not really like, you know. Because I mean, after a minute, I wasn't. Because I was, you know, I was, you know, to, to the point that you brought up about mental health challenges. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. It, it was really affecting my creativity. Okay. I couldn't produce anything. I didn't want to produce anything. I was stuck. You know, and I really wasn't so proud of you, bro. You know, and and and, and thank give me you. Some, no, give me thank some. you. But I can't. But up. I can't take full credit because I did have you know some help. You know, my guys that I'm with now. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, shout out. I got to shout out somebody specifically. My homeboy Alex. My homeboy Alex. He has a studio out in Atlanta called um um uh, called Layers. Right. It's out in Ellenwood, and that's my that's that's my writing partner. That's my that's my guy. He is the guy. Right. You know, and I leaned on him a lot because I liked a lot of his ideas and he wasn't trying to like force a lot of stuff through me because, you know, I'm me and people want right. to you know, make a name for themselves. He was extremely uh, humble. He was extremely um, uh, uh, valuable and he still is. And he helped me kind of crawl out of my my cave and my shell because nice. he was like, OK, bro, let's do it this way. Let's do it. I'm like, I don't really want to do nothing. But if I would do something, it would be like that. I just like need to tweak it here and there, blah blah blah, and I started getting my rhythm again. Nice, you know what I'm saying. So then, you know, uh, uh, my manager, you know what I'm saying, hooked up a situation, and I, I I pulled bro with me, and we was knocking out some records, and again, we was just working on stuff. You know, we wasn't really working on an album. We was just working no, you on just stuff. Were, but 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 helping you though. Like I believe a lot of time God sends angels. Exactly. And and, and I based on the way you're saying exactly. he, was, he was the angel you needed. At exactly. That time. But no, but I met bro like in but, 16. But the purpose of his Yeah, it, I would I couldn't have known. And I tell him all the time, I was like, one of the best decisions I ever made in my fire. life. Is because he pulled, he was one of those like, hey, bro, listen to my music. And I was like, I don't usually do this because you don't know what that could be. Sometimes it's a dummy mission and people don't listen when you try to be like, okay, that's cool, but what I think you should do is like, oh man, you just try. like, okay, all right, all right. I've only been doing this successfully at a high level for a long time. I might know something that you might want to know, but whatever. You, you, do you, bro. You know, figure it out. God bless you. Right. But he was open. You know, he was, he was, he was teachable. He was coachable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't really the type of person that really micromanaged. I just like to offer up game that I know, mm -hmm. you know, in the hopes that it will help you too. Fact. Because I had to learn it myself. So I, I never would have known that he, we would continue to be working with each other as long as we have been. And we've been putting out a lot. Like, we've worked together on, we collaborate on a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, that got actually got released. You know, a lot of features, because that's what kind of kept me you know, right. you know, a lot of essentially, I just, I ain't never, I was never on the team. You know what I'm saying, but I did a lot of pickup games. You know what I'm saying, hearing yeah. this, see and if I still got it. And got buckets. Yeah, yeah, and see <laughs> what I'm saying, and they, and they were pretty cool too. And a lot of you. it was rap features too. A lot of them was rap features. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's so, what because you hip hop. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Go. So a lot of a lot of a lot of the rappers was like, yo, can you know? Because and, and a lot of it, and, and what helped with social media, I'm not really so into social media, but it's very useful too to reach out, you know, get to people. And people would, you know, hit me up on the DMs and be like, yo, can I get you on this record? And I'd be like, yeah. It's like, oh man, I was trying to get in contact with you for years, bro. It's like, oh yeah, I'm here. Let's Call go. me direct. Let's you know go. Saying? Let's get yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, we exchange info and we get it done. But saying all of that to say, then my manager was like, yo, how you feel these records you was working on to become an album? I was like, I mean, I wasn't like really thinking about it like that, but then it hit me. That's the same process that happened where I just want to sing. I wasn't even working on an album. I was working on records. And, and they made my the folks album. was like, what you think about making these an album? And I was like, ah, okay. I, I see what's happening. <laughs> It's almost like it had. It's, it's like, like the, like the same gotta, conditions had to be reenacted in order to get me back in the game. Yes, you know man. what I'm saying? Because I wasn't feeling it for a lot of reasons, and a lot of which don't have nothing to do with music per se. Right. It's like life be life in, bro. And 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 it kind of it, it, it took the wind out of me. It took the wind out of me, and I didn't know how to talk about it. You know, because again, like we talked earlier, we not. You know, I come from a place. At least I come from a place. You know, what I'm saying you. You know, as well. Uh, you know, you it's talk tough. About yeah, stuff man. Like that, I, man. I, I wanna. I wanna. Um, and I'm using this. Uh, hopefully, you know, with with your respect behind it, is that that it can be a conversation because you don't know who you can help. Most recently, uh, there was a guy named Twitch. Uh, DJ yeah, I heard Brett about Allen, him. Right? Yeah, I heard about that. Probably 
one of the happiest guys you would think on paper right. to um, you would ever meet. Right. Generated a lot of good energy. Right, right. Uh, positive all I the time. I caught him a couple of times. Yo, yeah. no, bro, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No one would see that, bro. Yeah. Like, what, what if it was possible that something hit him so crazy that he didn't really want to deal with anything? What if he could have had a conversation? Or yeah, because, maybe, well, you know, what, what, I don't whatever. think a lot of people understand that when people are dealing with certain challenges, like, it's, it's convenient to be as the person on the outside looking in to have all of these ideas. Right. You have all of these perspectives. You got all of this advice. You know what I'm saying? You, you know. Yeah, that that that. But most people won't reach out. That's but the what I'm people to, exactly. Most people won't reach out. And the people that are in it, sometimes it gets to the point where they can't see the exit. Yeah. And you would figure, like, bro, you got, you had to have seen it. You got to, you got to have. I was just telling my my my, my bro, uh, Jack Thriller. You know, because you know, he speaks very highly of you, by the way. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> extremely like, highly of you. Oh, I said, you. and I told him, like, literally, just we was in the battle. I was like, yo, you should tell him that. Because we don't tell our, we don't tell each other like our peers. We don't, we don't tell, tell each us other. enough. We don't like tell it's each different other. to get it from from the from the people that we're servicing, and not. I don't know how this is going to sound, but there is an element of you know I appreciate it, but it's kind of like that's the reason why I did it. So I appreciate that you're you're giving me mine because that lets me know that I'm doing a good job. Yeah. But that's what it was intended for. It hits different. When a person is like, it's like if a person is serving you food and they really good at serving food, they really really at cooking, the recipes are bomb, and they're making it, and you paying for it, and you getting exactly what you want, you're gonna be like, that was good, that was, it. and plus the experience and on because you don't come from that life, Absolutely. so it's a, it's a vibe to it's you. It's a vibe, yeah. It hits different when people live that life. Wiz Khalifa was on right, and uh, he he said something real cool. He was like, why we don't take no pride in bigging each other up? Yeah. He was like, yo, he said we all kings. Why don't we take pride in like making sure we lift. Our circles yeah, up. because again, like, it hits different when it it's coming different. from us. Yes, because yes, it, it, because facts. it's not to not take anything away from it coming from essentially you Your know fans. part of my you know way of, of framing it, but from the outside, right? But from the inside, like for me and you to talk about because we walk this walk, so yeah. it. it when I'm it telling you, yeah. you know what I mean. I know exactly And you know what I'm what referring you to. You yeah. know the late nights. You know the early mornings. You know the struggle. You know the frustration. Yeah. You know the bullshit. You know the freak out moments. You know the I don't know what's happening, but I got to figure this out. You know the tiredness. Hell you yeah. know the lack of accolades. You know the lack of appreciation. You know the disrespect. You know the offenses. You know the transgressions. I, when I'm telling you, bro, I see you. Thank you. It hits way, way different. different, yo, man. I promise you because it like, hits way and, different. And I, I think I think the um the beauty in this conversation and hope for you guys that are listening is that people assume by your facade or that uh, your your persona that everything's okay. Nah, all the because time. I don't want to. I don't want you to be exposed to my pain, right? Because that's not what I want to give you. I don't want you to feel that. It's like your kids, right? You right. struggling with they gotta eat still. You don't wanna be in their yeah. face like you baby lucky I'm feeding you today, little nigga. Right. Like, no. You don't know what I had to do to make this money to get what? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're gonna project the love. Right. Because that's what you wanna put out there. And you hope you hope it will help, but a lot of times in certain cases it doesn't help us so yeah, like for instance in mo like in most cases. Right, for happen. instance, I give you a example from a comedic side as being a comedian. I lost my dad, right? I lost my mom. Oh, I lost my brother. That, so it was just, it was just, uh, it was just yeah. a crazy wipeout, right? Yeah. And so, I didn't know if I could perform again, like because I, because I, I'm high I feel that. I, I didn't know. If it's, I could. It's, it's hard to connect it's to those hard, vibes, yeah, right? When, when something like that is in its own way pulling you down. Yeah, yeah. It, it it was a loss of like you know you just don't know where the next move is, right? So. Right. I will never forget my boy Jay Reed, comedian, one, one of my one of my closest friends. He said, "Yo, B, you know what's so wow?" He said, "People don't pay for, people don't pay for your pain; they pay for, to be entertained." Exactly. And I was like, "Oh shit!" Exactly. And for whatever reason, exactly that helped me get up. Right, and it's not it's I not a matter. And know. I know, and it comes across like you know they don't care. They don't care. It's not that they don't care. It's a number of things. One, it's not their obligation or responsibility to care. Right. Two, they're paying for what they're paying for, so it's not fair for you to bait and switch them like that. Facts. They're coming for jokes, and you're giving them grief. Yeah, they don't want to hear that. It's not, not, no, because they got their own you, grief. And you put it, exactly. And they come to you <laughs> to, to get, get away. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, how yeah, the hell yeah. you they trying to get away from their shit, and you and you, you give you let you having them pay to take on your shit? Yeah. Like no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and 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 another thing, I think it's just a matter of they don't. It's not even. It's not their place too. They don't have the capacity. They don't have the bandwidth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not fair. But here's and it's not to take anything away from the fact that you going through what you're going through is real and it's valid and it's important. Right. But this ain't the place. Mm. But not you know, here. you know what's crazy, and you can relate to this mm. from your standpoint, mm. is that though in some of those darkest hours you create the most amazing shit like i said but then before <laughs> like yeah my pain was fueling it you know yeah. what i'm saying and that's that was my way of kind of working my way through it and not let it be so doom and gloom all the time like no i'm gonna take this dirt this manure and fertilizer right. and i'm gonna grow some flowers bro yo oh real quick this is something else i wanted to tell you that like I, i'll never get a chance because whenever we doing shows we be moving it be yeah, too many yeah, people yeah. I wanted to tell you this to your face. Okay. You write songs for real niggas. Like, 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 no, let me tell you why. Because <laughs> you can write a song that would say <laughs> something so that funny. I know. I swear to God. It's like, it sounds like, why are you surprised? <laughs> it's like, you ain't know. You ain't know that. So, so, like, because I, I remember listening, to, it's a couple songs that, that you wrote that I was just like, oh my God, that's mm -hmm. so me. And, uh, the one of my favorites is I never knew the girl next door would be in you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That shouts out to uh, Carvin Hagens as one of my writing partners. Yeah, uh, uh, early on, and when he uh, he actually brought me with that brought to me that concert, I was like, yo, that's dope. It's a dope concert. Cause it's facts, it, bro. I lived and I it. like to write songs about stuff that people don't talk. <laughs> like it's like, where's the song for this? Yo, you that's write what, those that's, songs. That's, that's what inspires me a lot of the times bro, to write the songs that I do. There it's was like, a shorty. Everybody like that goes I used to through like. this. Where is the song for this? Where's the song for this? Where's the song for this? If I would have knew. Girl, you looking fine to me. Yeah, everybody can identify you with that. Be. Yeah, like, yo, she, you yo, ain't expected. You, you gave her Felicia, bro, bro. You gave her hell. <laughs> yeah, bye, Felicia. And Felicia <laughs> is like, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, you done that, Felicia, right, bro, yeah. bro, bro? Yeah. And she grew up to be a stunner. Yeah, man, right. And then, like uh, the other one, um, 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 you and me against the world. Um, yeah, because everybody got a pass, bro. Yeah. Everybody got a pass. You and me against the world. So you hard. shouldn't, you know, the, the concept, don't judge a book by a cover. Yeah. Now, some people are for the streets and they trash. You know what I'm saying? That's both sides, male, male or female. So I don't want like, you know. Right. You know. They're just for the streets. Yeah, they're just for the streets. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, pr and proud of it. Right. And proud of it, <laughs> yes. I ain't shit and yeah. I'm cool. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trash for I'm real. I'm trash for real. Fuck with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got some people that's yeah. like, it's just a series of unfortunate events and circumstances. I had to do what I had to do at the time. I ain't know no better. You know what I'm saying? But I do now. Please don't hold that against me and really be trying to redeem themselves. But the last thing that they need is a person like, but I knew you from way back and blah, blah. Like, bro, right, right, right. that's the old me. Let, let me I, saw, let, I saw something, you know, Instagram got mad game and bars these days. Oh, yes, it and some of it be, be undefeated. Be, some of it be, you know, shut up. But a lot of it be ill. It'd be like, and somebody said something. I don't know where it came from. It's probably recycled so many times. But it's like, it's crazy how people try to hold your past against you when, it's, when you could just tell them, like, bro, I don't. I don't live there no more. Yeah. I got a new address, homie. I'm at a new address. And the reason why, and you just told on yourself, you don't know where I'm at now. So you're not authorized to have an opinion on me, bro. Yeah, oh, that's hot. You know I like I, I fuck with it, so, bro. So so I, I heard that was like, oh, that's good. Keep and you, you remember that one. You yeah. like that one. You yeah. like that. Because I like people got game, and a lot of it be like, you know, it'd be super woke, and I'd be like, Okay, but sometimes <laughs> it's like it be it be it be that it be that nugget it be that it be that gem in there and I be that like, lock in. Nugget. Ooh, I like that. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of the things because I had a I had a really hard time. Like, and it's more so self inflicted because right. I'm super self conscious. You know, mm -hmm. I get insecure about a lot of things because I'm an overachiever and I like to be better. But as a byproduct of you know childhood trauma, you know, mm -hmm. and you never feel like you're good enough. Right. You know, so I before a person would you know come at me crazy, I would. I would come at myself like, bro, you tripping. Why you do that? Why you say that? Why you move like that? Why ain't you blah, 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 you know? And, and it'd be really just be me. Now, professionally, okay. you know, I kind of take L's when it comes to people having comments about them because I'm doing it for people. So you, what you say is important to me. Your opinion matters. Yeah. I didn't understand, like, it doesn't have to fully matter. You know what I'm saying? It's another thing that people say, like, why would you take advice from, why would you take an opinion from somebody that you wouldn't even take advice from? You know what I'm saying? It goes back to that authorization. You're not authorized to tell me and why and why me? You why you me? Why you giving what this person's saying who don't know you? Right. Wait. All that power over you. Who who are they? Ah, yeah. Because you care so much about them. Mm. 
They don't care about you like yeah, that. Yeah, man. That's but that's somebody hard just thing woke to up and out. just wanted to mess up your day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like ah, right, you ain't you ain't me, I got, I got, I got, me, man, for me. nothing. All I do like it's so funny. Like with my with my platforms, I always want to educate. Like obviously top billing and, and you know inform mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. situations in the culture. But like I try to make people laugh on my Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. And don't you know? There's always one dude, right? And it that effect, just and and, and, like, and you could you could let it affect you. You whack. Yeah, but 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 it hits you because you're open. You know what yeah, I'm saying, yeah. and you're trying to you, you're operating man, out of how love. You, how you feel like that? Bro? You know what I'm saying. But what I had to learn was just like how you got to deal with hecklers. You yeah. know what I'm saying. You know, same we, thing. Same thing. You just got to give it no power. You just got to remind yourself that it don't matter if you care too much. And I say don't care at all because that's dangerous too. Don't care too much. Correct. You know do do, I do it pro- from the heart. Yeah, I had a problem with that because I care too much, but I had to realize that my caring too much was an extension of some traumatic crap that I had to process because I was looking to be accepted because I had a void that I was trying to fill for something that I never got growing up. I didn't know that, but I had to sit and with I had to sit with that and process that. That's now, right. you know right. what I'm saying? Because I, I was already good personally. It was professionally because I knew that what I was doing was for people. They're paying me, they're giving me attention, they're giving me energy and love. So I, I should care about their opinion. It matters. Yeah. And then I realized how ill informed it was. How this person that's hating don't know what they're talking about because if they did, they wouldn't be hating so much. They would actually appreciate the fact that I'm doing what I'm doing, which you're not going to just find anywhere. Yeah, and it's a gift yeah, that and, you're giving to the people. And it's a loud minority. They just sound like it's bigger. Yeah, like I don't know if you watch anime. It's well, like it's Naruto; so, they do all the shadow it. clones. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just carbon copies of some bullshit. Like it's not really. Sorry, I just got nerdy for a second. No, no, no. But, no. but, 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 but. <laughs> I just let I let my bad. nerd out. I, I, I let my nerd out. Let my nerd out. Come back. Come back. Uh, yeah, you know. So yeah, it's just it's 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 a loud minority. But there was a there was a not even a quiet majority. There's a consistent majority. Focus on them because them the ones that are gonna keep showing up. That person that just came out of the woodwork that was just hating, they're gonna be here today and gone tomorrow don't focus on that yeah and and and, like and, that. and the reason why it bothered me so much because i was already doing it to myself but that's a you know that 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 that, that bully in your brain you know yeah. what i'm saying that self could do better yeah. you that you that was trash you think you think you somebody huh now that was it's like dude like what are you doing yeah. meanwhile i'm looking at my if i because my, my guys had to help me they pulled dude when i tell you they came and got me bro it was like let me let me ask you something bro do you know who you are? I'm like, yeah, man. Like, nah, nah. You know who you are, bro? Look at your timeline. You know how long you've been doing this? Yes, sir. You know how much you've done? Yeah. Yeah, but it ain't... Dude, I don't give a fuck about that. That's you. That's you rating and grading yourself. And then I realized, like, oh, I'm in the way. I can't see myself. Dog. They can see me better than I ever can we could. Give, can, we, can we give a round of applause right there? <laughs> yeah. Sometime we want to acknowledge that. But it gotta come from you people that you yourself. know. Take loves the you. time to see yourself and pat yourself on the back. Yeah. Sometime acknowledge yourself. Just yeah. take a beat. We forget to do that. Because we always on the go, trying to get to the next, trying to be better, trying yeah. to reach that next height, trying to ah, da, 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 da. facts. That we forget. Don't forget to be grateful, man. Ah <laughs> boy, you dropping stuff. Um, you your passion for music obviously is is absolutely on a billion. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You believe music should be back in the schools. Tell yes. us about your initiative. So I'm working on this initiative I'm to excited. try to help you know get school uh, music back in schools because I realized that you know there's a lot of people that weren't really exposed to any sense of musical education. You know because you could tell by the way that they consume content now by what's acceptable these days and what's passing for dope. And now don't get me wrong, everybody have a right to express themselves however they want and everything that you do, because music and creativity is subjective and everybody has you know, their own form of expression, they have their own preferences. My thing though, because of how I came up, and you know, I talked a little bit about my, my, uh, my personal references and, and my um, uh, musical education, if you will. There's levels to this though. Hell yeah. There's levels to this. Nobody's saying that what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, is, is necessarily, you know, complete trash. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just that you're at a certain level. Don't get it, conf- don't conflate it as you doing, operating on the level that you're on. It's the same thing as this person operating on this level. No. It's not the same. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
there, 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 you know, there, there's, there's intricacies and there's, you know, attention to detail. There's a sense of awareness, a sense of education and proficiency that you got to respect because time and effort and energy, blood, sweat, and tears went into it. I don't think that you can put that in the same category. And I think that a lot of these, you know, institutions, they just be given participation awards. And that's cute. And that's cool. Because but people, it, but, you're not but learning it's not the same no. thing. And it's not fair. And it's not going to have the same stamp. So, right. So instead of, you know, keep, you know, taking shots at that and complaining and talking about that, I figure, well, 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 what is another way? What's an alternative way where you can sort of get ahead of that and get in there and try to help facilitate people's ability you know what I'm saying? To be more aware of you know, the said levels. So what would you do? What, what, what? I would start with the youth. Yes. Because this generation is a good luck mission. It is what it is. They, they can change their <laughs> mind or they won't change their mind. Right, 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 it right. It is right, what right. it let's is. Start, let's go younger. So hopefully you can plant seeds for it to kind of help further, you know what I'm saying, the, the, in, the musical intelligence so that they'll, they'll, they'll have a much broader brand bandwidth. And keep it alive. To, exactly. Yeah. Because there's too many people that did too much work that for it not to be honored, bro. Yeah, yeah. And too many it, people laid they, they laid bricks on the house that we all get to pay rent on, and if, like we gotta honor this, bro, before it becomes a dying lost art. Yeah. And now we got nothing to claim as our own. And this is, and I'm not just talking about black culture and you know black music. I'm talking about global human culture. This is all a part of the human culture, the human uh, 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 Expression, uh, language, the human family, you know, you know uh, the human race. I'm, I'm, it's eluding me what I'm trying to say right now, but I think people understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say. We know what the hell you're trying <laughs> yeah, to say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's the community. <laughs> the community. It's the global community, man. It's for the entire culture, you know. So all of us benefited from it. That's where all of these, you know, different genres that it all come from somewhere. Somebody got hip, you know what I'm saying? Got an idea and one thing's like, no, I'm gonna go this way, and then now you got jazz. I'm gonna go this way. Now you got rock and roll. Oh, now you got you got R and B. Oh, now you got hip hop. Oh, now you got all of these different things and people expressing themselves and it and it breathes all of this new stuff. But I feel like it's getting lost and no one pulling no effort no more because they just want you know they just want not I, I know this so keep it like this like no it gets better yeah you could keep adding you it just gets better yeah, because I if like we didn't ad. we wouldn't even have what we have already we going we hustling backwards dude. Oh, no. I like so I figure, you know, instead of talking about it, be about it. Be so about it. an opportunity presented itself and I was like, yes, run it. Let's go. Let's you know, it. and, you know, it's it's slow coming because you got to be patient with stuff like this. Right. It's not going to happen overnight. So you are you teaming up with our inner city schools or. Um, so there's a school in Atlanta uh, called uh, Utopian Academy, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a it's a creative and performing arts institution. It's really, really, really cool and bright. These students are bright, bro. Mm -hmm. And I was tasked with the responsibility of, you know, coming up with the school song because they're, they're going to have a, a graduation ceremony soon. And they wanted me to, uh, you know, take a take a shot at, you know, um, coming up with the, with the school song. And me and my guy, Alex, you know, and my musical director, uh, Black Smurf, we all came up with this really, really cool arrangement. And I was like, OK, cool. But let's get the kids to sing it. Uh, so I think this was their first time in the studio recording or whatever, and they they took to it like fish to water, man. And it oh was man, music really is cool. Bro. It was really cool. So I'm really excited about it. You know, um, they you know they they uh, did the uh, 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 they blessed me by honoring me as the you know the ambassador of music ah, over there. Yeah, no, you are, it's cool. I got a jacket and everything. <laughs> you the ambassador and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lit. I like it. It's cool. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was supposed to hook up with you one time in Atlanta. I don't know what happened, man. We were supposed to, something happened and you, I forgot. I forgot when. It mm. wasn't that long ago. Okay. Because I was there, I don't know, it was Tigger and mm. we were supposed to be somewhere at the same time. Okay. But I'm glad you're doing it in Atlanta, though. I kinda, yeah, yeah, I kinda, yeah. I kind of, because yeah. Atlanta is one of my favorite cities and there's such a culture of its own in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting a little interesting now, you know what I'm saying? Because it's starting to get a little crowded. You know, it's a lot of people in that little, little bit of space. Little, it's, it's gonna be a lot like out here now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That can, that can go either way. So right, hopefully, right, right, right. hopefully, you know, we can kind of like stay in the good lane. You know. Um, you so know. With, so now that we 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 you know we can we can leak this just a little bit. We ain't, you know we ain't gonna get with everything. But music, you came in today. Not only did you let us get to know you better, man, you in a better place. Yeah, your thankfully, vibe, I, it's, it's a work in it. process. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like you, you, you. I, I call it you radiating on a high level right now. Oh, okay, right cool. Now. I appreciate you radiating it. radiating on a high level. I, 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 I can, I'm on energy. Cool. Yeah, I'm I can't, I can't see myself, so thank right. you. I, I yeah. see you. You radiating. Thank bro. you. Thank you good. You good. You turned up. Thank so, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just in case you ain't know, 
giving you your flowers. You turned up. Thank you, man. Okay. I appreciate um, it. Thank you. This this new album is going to be mm. probably let's call it masterpiece because we don't want to call album because okay. you because you get nervous when I say albums. I mean like you did some. Yeah, no, I, I, do, I get I, I get a little performance anxiety. What about <laughs> art? Let's say you create yeah, yeah, new yeah, art. Yeah, 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 new art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm you created some art. art. Yeah, you yeah. created some art. I got some and new uh, art. Yeah. I like that new, new art. art. It's yeah. just new art. Yeah, yeah. So your new art uh, is going to be. I'm, I'm speaking it into fruition that yeah. your new art is going to be your best work. Cool. Looking and forward to it. Yeah. Well, I well I got I kind of got you know an incentive, you know what I'm saying to uh, that's that that's ensuring that you know for mostly for people you know uh, uh, that's interested because this new uh, art. Art that I like that I like I really really it makes like you come, that. See, it's it easier. gives it a different thing. Yeah, I like that. I like you that. better shout me out yeah. when you start saying yo. I got new artwork of for you. Of course, I got new art. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's like really hitting me. I like right. it. Okay. Um, I'm actually it's a collab project uh, okay. with the with the with the great you know what I'm saying with the great goat of our time and he's just getting started. I mean he's been around for a minute. Yes. But uh you know what I'm saying he's starting to get that that momentum. He's starting to get that traction, you know what I'm saying? At least, you know, more so outside of, you know, people who knew about him, you know, for what he does. You know, he's starting to become more of a known name, you know, and and I, and I, and I love that for him and you know and and of course I you know I pray that my contribution is only going to further that, you know, and and for me as well. But it's a collab project with Hit Boy. Ugh. Yeah, he's doing all Stop the music. Playing, yeah, yeah. You in good hands. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's gonna be great art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a great collaboration. Yeah, exactly. Artwork. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, and, and shout out, shouts out to uh, uh, King's Disease. You know what I'm saying? Because he did all of those for Nas. So you know, King's Disease Three is out. Ah, you know what I'm saying, don't forget the magic too. So, oh, yeah. oh, okay. So now that we're discussing this art, mm -hmm. we have an oh interesting God. title. Right. Whoa. So this is an ex arts. this is an exclusive because again, like this, it being the first only one, on top billing. This it, it being an album, you do your own horns. I have funny. to. I don't have a horn. <laughs> you get yourself a button. <laughs> <laughs> um, like flex. So yeah, uh, it even being an album is a new thing, relatively new thing. It's like this is just months in the working. You know okay. what I'm saying? So a lot of it is like moving fast. Okay. Um, I like I just, like I'm I'm. I'm about to. I haven't. I'm literally in, in, at the beginning stages of mixing, you know. So hopefully we can have it out by top of next year. Okay. Um, I want to try to have it out by like February. I, I, I want to have it out by you know February. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I'm looking forward to. You know, that. I'm looking forward to that as well. But, um, the title is designed to address the topic of the challenges we all deal with. In relationships. Correct. But I'm approaching it from a slightly different angle than I used to. You know, it's more, you know, abstract. At the same time, direct. So the name of the album is going to be called Victims and Villains. Who are you? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this is hip hop. And a lot of people don't realize which one they are. They thinking they one when they're the other. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And... It, it it takes you know, um, and I know you had you had Amanda on here, uh, uh, and she actually made a made alluded to that you know in, in a post that uh, she was a part of not too long ago where she made the point you know because she was asked something to the effect of you know you know how to find true love or something like that I can't really remember you know I'm just paraphrasing and her response paraphrasing again was you know are you willing or ready to be honest with yourself first you know what I'm saying about what you want mm. you know or something to that effect. You know, and she went as far as to say, like, you know, you like, sometimes you got to realize your own stuff. Like, you got to realize that maybe you was the, you was the toxic one. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't like that. Myth. So now we're talking about accountability. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people are allergic to that. Yo, man. You know what I'm saying? And and make no mistake about it. Like, I'm including myself within it because I got I had to work through my own stuff as well. We all do. You know, everybody does. Like, nobody's perfect. So sometimes you're not you're not always the victim. Sometimes you're the villain. It may not be your intent. Now, some people, they, they do intent. They woke, wake up and choose violence. <laughs> they wake up being for breakfast. The villain. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you may not realize that you may be the villain in someone else's story. You know, and they're the victim, but you thinking you the victim because you are the way that you are because of how you've been victimized and how people has been have been the villains to you. And you are the byproduct, you know, of being on the receiving end of that. And that's all valid, you know, and, and, I, and I respect that. But it doesn't give you the right and it's not fair for you to, you know, project that out onto people without going, you know, processing your stuff. You know, so I've been, you know, really on a journey of 
uh, working through my stuff because I'm not, I didn't always realize that in the pursuit of helping people that you could become, you know, overwhelming because maybe everybody's not ready to move in the way that you're ready to move. Yeah. Maybe everybody's not ready to move in the way that you're ready to move. They have their own timeline. They have their own journey. They have their own stuff. And who are you to pull them out of their reality because you want better for them? You want them to do what you want them to do because you, want, you don't want to feel like you're with a person that could potentially cause drama and pain for you because they're not paying attention. So you just want to make them be the perfect person. Like, that's not your responsibility. That's not your job. It's your place. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So you can't control everything. That's you want control? Hey, you want control so much? Why don't you go look in the mirror? Go control that. Oh, don't nobody. You want to help so much? Oh, you gonna walk by that yeah, mirror? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gonna walk by that? But you want to talk to them? Yeah. You want to help so much? Go help that. Go, go, go help yourself. Go look in the mirror. You man. know what I'm saying? That's so, gangsta. but but when you don't know that, you know what I'm saying? It's not an excuse. I'm not excusing it. But these are facts. Some people just are not aware. You know what I'm saying? Which goes back to when you brought up the you and me. Everybody got a past. Everybody got a timeline. But you shouldn't hold people against, especially if they're showing effort. Now, if a person is just keep doing the same thing, then you kind of the dummy for sticking around because they ain't showed you and and told you in so many ways. They're not finna change. Right. They they they're comfortable here. Yeah. They you know what I'm in. saying? Yeah. They're locked in. They're not moving. You know what I'm saying? So you should take your exit for you and somewhere you don't want to be. Yeah. I like that. Hey man. Hey, it, it's it's we're gonna have a little fun um in here and. Uh, before before we get out of here, man, this is I'm so happy you were able to make it. Oh, I finally was able to get you on the top billing, and uh, we always have fun a little bit. We okay, have a little fun too. Okay, because you know you like to laugh and crack jokes too. But this part, uh, <laughs> they just think because you write amazing art that uh, you know you don't like. Anybody tell me you're funny? You are. You crazy? Uh, you crazy? Funny? Just like me. So real quick, this uh, this is a portion of the show we call all facts. All I facts. Okay. You all facts. Okay. I ask you a question. You just gotta tell the truth. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Boom. 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 All right, Music Soul Child, you mm. get to create the ultimate new tour for 2023. Who's on road with you? And please tell us the name of the artist. <sighs> it's coming up. Kim, let us see in me. <laughs> that is called art. As a matter of fact, it's starting in February. So, yeah, <laughs> please get your tickets down. Get your tickets down. That was easy. <laughs> all facts, all facts, right? Okay, I'm gonna give you three because you got because because I know I seen your background singing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three women oh. who are mm. three women mm. who are stars, but they're gonna sing background for you for one show. Whoa! And, and you get to pick three of your killers. You're crazy, bro. You know what I'm talking about? You're crazy. I, you get to pick three. And I mean, they can go. It's come, too. It's too on, many. Three it's too come many. On, come on. Well, let me just shout out my background singers. Uh, shout them out first. Shout, shout out my background singers. They got, dope. I see. We them. got Jasmine and Jasmine. Yes, both of their names are Jasmine. Okay. We got Jazz Jasmine one and Jazz Two. Well, no, we'll call Jazz One, Jazz Two. <laughs> uh, you can find them on Instagram. Uh, one is uh, Jasmine. Jasmine Henson. J S J A S. M J S M. She got on me last time. No, the the, the Y is okay. J S M Y N E. She actually just put out a song, um, called because I, I really want to be accurate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be real ghetto he right some, now. We got some dope. Uh, yeah, background singers though. Right? So we got J S M Y. Yep, Jasmine Henson. Well, I knew her name, but I'm trying to figure out the name of the song. Oh. WTF. I knew that. Yeah. So the name of the song is WTF. So go check it out. Jasmine Henson. J-S-M-Y-N-E-H-I-N-S-O-N. Boom. And then you also have uh, uh, Jasmine Cromley. Oh, no. What is that? J-S-Z. Oh, J-A-Z. J-A-S-Z. That don't even make any sense. Uh, her her uh, Insta is uh, Sang Jazzy. S-A-N-G. J A Z Z Y. Uh so yeah, those are my background singers. So I'm I'm legit already bro, set, but bro, I to, bro, but to your bro, point. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Fantasy team. I got you. I just I just you I just love my folks. Sports, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Okay. But okay. but I get it. I, I just love my folks. I don't want to shout them out. Okay, go. Um three. Whew. Let's go. Well, funny enough, jazz, be- another Jasmine, Jasmine <laughs> Sullivan. 
Jasmine Sullivan. Oh, Jasmine, Jasmine Sullivan, Sullivan on background. Yeah, she's always my first pick. Oh, Jasmine. She's, all, she's always my first pick. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Jasmine Sullivan is so freaking bonkers, right? Yeah. And you would be looking forward to her. When You know how when y'all do the breakdown and, yeah. the, and the background singer get to sing? Yeah, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Jasmine, if y'all don't. Jasmine you, Sullivan would be yeah, like uh, yeah. one of the moments where people start putting they, yeah. pulling their phones out. Yeah, black Jasmine out. Sullivan, bro. So it's Jasmine like, Sullivan is a. Background, yeah. Done. Yeah. Come on, we yeah. need two more. Let's Sheesh. go. Come on. Hmm. Don't get to put them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Don't need no. <laughs> oh, man. Come, bro. Well, I mean, I'm on tour with Lettucey, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely Lettucey. I, um, I got one for you. I ain't going to help you. You got to help yourself. Sometimes you got to help yourself, music. <laughs> I'm not here to help you. I'm not here to help no, you. Tell me, tell me what yours is, and I'll, I'll say that's an honorary mention. So what, what was one more? No, no, I got one more. But what's your one more? Oh, for Bill Bellamy, three. No, 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 no. You me. said you got one for me, but you gonna help? You gonna help me? Oh, bruh, 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 bruh. Jill Scott. Yeah, oh, of course, of course. Jill Scott, of course. I, but like, I thought you was gonna go a different. But I like it. No, 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 no. Dope, dope. But I was thinking. I was, I was, I was thinking her. <sighs> Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. Yeah. Bro. That's kind of lit. Bro, that's yeah. kind of lit right yeah. there. Okay, so on background, so we got Music Soul Child, but he got an all star background. That scene. is crazy. Boy, but if you got, let me tell you how crazy everybody be at your show, you do this. If you do First it, of all, it'll never it, happen. It'll never <laughs> happen, but we do it for one show. We got her on background. Oof. We got Jasmine Sullivan. And we got Lettucey. And we got Lettucey. Crazy. I mean, if you want to act stupid and yeah. throw somebody like Patti LaBelle or somebody. Okay, now now you're being fully ridiculous. You're going to have a whole goat up in there. A goat! The goat! <laughs> Sheesh! Hey, man, well, to... might as well. Let's throw Shaka Khan up yeah! in there. Might as well, bro. bro. Bro, it's imaginary. Might as well. Shaka Khan. See, see Mine I... Mine as well. Well, see what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody, I would love to uh, wish everyone a happy holiday. It has been a pleasure to sit down and talk with this gifted artist, man. Oh, thank you. Make sure you support his new album and new tour. Uh, he's going out with uh, Victims and Villains. It's dropping very, very shortly. Also, he's going out on tour. You can get tickets at Ticketmaster with Lettucey and Kim. And Kim. Mm -hmm. How do you find your way? <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> it's Top Villain, baby. We'll holler at the next one. Peace. <laughs>